Good morning, my name is Paola Migliorini. I'm going to talk to you about sustainability assessment of agricultural and food system. The learning outcome of this course is about to understand the concept of sustainable agricultural and food system, to describe how to define it, to give example of sustainability assessment of agricultural and food system, and to implement how to measure sustainability with sustainability indicators. The concept of sustainable agriculture derives from the older concept of sustainable development. Here we have two definitions. The first definition it comes from the United Nations in 1983, where the Bultran Commission defined the sustainable development, the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Some years later, FAO Council in 1989 defined the sustainable development, the development that in agriculture, in forestry and in fisheries sector conserve the land, the water, plant and animal genetic resource is environmentally non-degrading, technically appropriate, economically viable and socially acceptable. From those concepts derive the concept of sustainable agriculture and food system. In the face of increased food production, demands to meet the needs of a growing world population, environmental damage caused by agricultural practice has been well documented and range from air pollution, for example green gaze, soil degradation, for example, soil erosion, soil fertility and soil salinization, water pollution caused by fertilizer and pesticides, destruction of aquatic ecosystem and the loss of biodiversity at all levels. From an economic and social point of view too, agriculture has created many imbalances. The concept of sustainable agriculture is described by this picture. Eckhart in 1993 the state that the differences between conventional and sustainable paradigm of agriculture are much more a matter of differences in farming philosophy than of farming practices or methods. During the area of agricultural industrialization and green revolution, the appropriate approach was to focus on the development of agricultural practice that optimize individual businesses. However, a wide system approach that focuses on the development of communities of knowledge and system of companies and food production chain, for example the farm to fork approach up to the reuse of waste, needs to address the environmental, economic and social aspect of agricultural sustainability of post-era industrialization. The concept of sustainable agriculture was described also by Hansen in 1996, treated according to vision. The first vision is the sustainability as a philosophical approach. The second one is the sustainability as a system properties. In the first, sustainable agriculture has been described as an umbrella terms, encompassing several alternatives approach, paradigm and values to conventional agriculture. So a series of alternative strategies and good practices are identified as sustainable. For example, a wide crop rotation, intercropping, soil protection against soil erosion, organic nutrient man management and so on while others are not. In the second vision, the sustainable agricultural system is defined as one that fulfills several goals through time. Those goals are generally include some expression of maintenance or enhancement of natural environment, like biodiversity and water, for example, or provision of human food needs, economical viability and social welfare. Conway, in 1987, defined sustainability as resiliences the ability of a system to maintain productivity in spite of a major disturbances. In the same year, Miguel Altieri in his book defined the capacity of agroecosystem to maintain production over time, over long-term ecological limitation and socioeconomic pressing. Agricultural sustainability is a very complex issue because agriculture is multifunctional, for example, produce both goods, food products or food enterprise, but also services like carbon sequestration or clean water. And sustainability is a multi-scale, like field, farm, farming system level, but also multifaceted issue, like sometimes parameters can be in conflict with, with each other, for example, is more important than a wine tastes good, or that is cheap, or that is healthy. 
Therefore, a multidimensional environmental, economic and social assessment using multiple criteria and set of indicators that consider different level of analysis, the farmer, the producer, the consumer, the distributors, the policy maker till the local community is very useful but difficult and critic. The scientific community contributed to this discussion, uh, providing different framework and methodology to assess sustainability. I'm going to give you some example at farm level and later on at food system level. The first one is the FELMS approach, the international framework for evaluating sustainable land management developed in 1994. Then a very interesting contribution arise from OECD in 1994 with the pressure state response framework that that was then developed better and enlarged by the European Environmental Agency in 2003 with the driver pressure state impact response indicators. Another interesting methodology is the one of MESMIS framework developed in the South America in 2002. Another one is the RISE approach, the method for assessing sustainability of agricultural production at farm level in 2009 by Grants and his group. Then the MOTIF approach, a tool for integrated farm sustainability applied in 2008 by the Flemish. And finally, the life cycle assessment, for example, applied in, by Nemech et al. in the Swiss um, farming system, comparing both organic versus conventional, but also intensive versus extensive. At a higher level, at farming and food system level, another framework is the indicator base framework, the IASIS, for sustainability of farming system developed by the Florence University. Then another tentative was the uh, analysis of the good, clean and fair slow food context developed in the Presidia. Then the um, Sustainable Organic Agricultural Action Network of IFAM, the SOAN, and finally, the SAFA, the Sustainability Assessment on Food and Agricultural System developed by FAO recently. So the sustainability assessment starts with the sustainability concept definition, the understanding of the meaning of it, the definition of the principle of sustainability, then the objective to be achieved and what should be sustained, for example, the system boundaries and the spatial and time scale, and finally, the selection of indicators and the type of indicators. The indicator is a very critical issue um, as uh, they define how to judge. There, there are four different types of indicators. The one that uh, define the system evolution over time. So I can compare, for example, one farm today and then after five years. Then I can compare the comparable system, for example, two different farms that are homogeneous. Then I can compare defining optimal objectives, like something to be rich, or finally the threshold limit. So I should not go beyond the threshold, but above the threshold is considered sustainable. The type of indicators are strongly ecological in focus and very detailed sometimes, uh, or they are policy oriented and developed at aggregate uh, sector or country level. So indicators are developed that differ greatly in information context and condensation of this information. Scientists are most interested in uncondensed data that can be analyzed, for example, statistically, while policymakers and the public in general can be assumed to prefer condensed data related to policy objectives or free of redundancies to choose. A good example of best practice is the SOAN approach where I, for one community, developed a five-dimension criteria, for example, the ecology, the society, the culture, the accountability, and the economic dimension of sustainability, each of them with several indicators. Another interesting approach is the one developed by SAFA, by FAO, using, using a methodology with uh, four different dimensions, governance, environmental, economy, and social, each of them with specific indicators and giving a reference with the, low, the lowest is not relevant, then unacceptable, limited, moderate, good and best. Finally, I would like to contribute with some practical example how sustainability is communicated by food 
product. The first level is generally the level of certification. For example, two big companies, for example, Lipton Tea, uh, provide an idea of sustainability using the Rainforest Allian certified farms. Or another one is uh, Gran Moravia Cheese that uh, have developed in the website the water footprint approach. In general, this level is uh, under risk of uh, uh, the first scene of greenwashing, that means uh, the, the hidden trade-off. So a claim suggesting that a product is green based on a narrow set of attributes without attention to other important environmental issues. They have a, a delegation approach, uh, an attempt to recognition, and a lack of interest in the identity of the consumer. The second level could be the sustainability commitment, and two good examples are the Ben & Jerry ice cream that uh, is uh, dedicated to the farm, and they have developed the caring dairy approach uh, with a list of uh, 11 indicators, and so they develop uh, with the farm and trying to improve sustainability through time. Another one is the Lavazza Fondazione with the Tierra example. Um, communicate to the consumer the engagement. They try to uh, provide direct recruitment uh, to engage, to build tension within future horizon, and in general to link uh, the farmer learning and the consumer follower. The third level is not derived from the food system, but for example, is another example from the car. Uh, for example, Toyota have developed the glass of water with a participatory sustainability approach. So they have, they try to, to, to give um, ecological awareness to the driver, um, helping them not to split any drop of water while driving, so to have a very uh, careful uh, and, and slow motion. Uh, with strong implication on the production side, uh, willingness to participate from the consumer to a transformative movement of social practice. So I thank you. Um, I have provided one paper and I, I am available for future question and discussion. Thank you very much.